Amid Day Feast by Tim Brady Illustrated by Robert Newbecker Miss Gray did not like the midday meal at school. Kids ate fast and they did not eat well. So Miss Gray made a plan. We will make a big feast, explained Miss Gray. Bring in something you eat at home. It may not be fast. It must be homemade. What do you mean by fast? asked Jay. It is something that takes time to make and eat. Make it at home. Bring your homemade meals to class on Monday. We will set up a midday feast. It will be a fine big meal. The bell rang and the kids ran into the sunlight. Jay spoke up. I like snacks that I can eat fast. Miss Gray explained that we need to eat better. She said we must not eat fast food all the time, said Gail. Gail told mom and dad about the feast. Gail's dad smiled. Will your friends like eggs? No, Gail cried. I need a meal for lunch. We can make eggplant, said mom. Dad can grill it. Hi, yelled Jill's dad. What's happening? Jill must take a homemade meal to class, mom replied. Mom told me we can make steamed dumplings, said Jill. Dad hugged Jill. If your mom is making it, your friends will like it. Rick helped mom make a sea bass. We are baking it with red peppers. Now we must wait. Dad came running in. I have greens for a salad. Thanks, Dad. We will have a complete meal, Rick said. What can I take? Jay asked. Mm, we can make rice with green beans, eggs and nuts, said Jay's dad. Grandma used to make this meal. Yes, Jay cried. I can't wait. I will take a big pot of rice. On Monday, kids in class held up plates. I made eggplant, said Gil. Dad and I made rice, added Jay. I cut up green beans and added nuts. The kids ate a large meal. They tried grilled eggplant, sea bass and refried beans. Miss Gray smiled. The piece was not fast, but it was fine. I want to refill my plate exclaimed Jay. The kids in the class grinned. We made a fine feast. Eating it made us happy.